Shalom and good day all, this is Tehillim29, back again for another indie comic review, and this indie comic review is of Ninja Kaidan, uh, issue 1, and moving into, well, pretty much first things first is, does this cover in any way, shape or form connect to something that is somewhat happening inside the story? Sure enough it does, to which I give it a 7.5 out of 10. I'll now move to the internal art. And show you some of the things that are happening story-wise as we look around the beginning, middle, and of course the end. All right, and as we begin this story, uh, this takes place in Rhinebeck, New York. You know that's shown on the first place, but this is actually taking place somewhat outside of a location to which the character, who is called Yuki, is going into. Uh, we also learn that he is also working with someone. Um, I think his wife is also working with him as well, by what I got with this, and as you can see here, we've got his armor, which is connected to the yokai, uh, a yokai type of corporation. Now, jumping into the middle of the story, and this is like after the place that he went to in the story, and um, they're sort of like back at home. And they could have fixed up a little bit more in the area of location, I do believe. But this conversation is actually a really good conversation of which these characters have. And we've got the character of Yuki here, uh, who's on the left-hand side with Mary Beth. And they have like a bit of a discussion on, say, for example, the paranormal and also Ninja. And in her case, she doesn't really believe in Ninja. And he has also been brought up in the way of the Ninja. And we get that in the conversation, and also a connection to somewhat his early year. And I thought that this is really nice, sort of like to start off the story with, like around this midpoint. And as we move some of the art towards the end, uh, he finally uh, works out what the combination is to get into an important safe that his father had and um, it links to this armor uh, I'm not going to give you any spoilers though as to what the password is um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you work that out by yourself So for the internal art, I gave this a 7.5 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the area of the story. Uh, seeing that this is a new comic run, um, there will be no need for any comic book references. Uh, unless the author chooses to put in any comic references um, in this first issue. Whether it might relate to, say, a previous story that they worked on, or this is their first story. Uh, so, for the time, we got the indication of now, so it's taking place in this character's present. The location is in Rhinebeck, New York, as to which we see the main character, Yuki, going into somewhat a house. And he has his uh, yokai type armor gear on to which he is able to visibly see um, the supernatural so in other words ghosts uh, we also have the character of Mary Beth uh, when we move into the characters or cast of characters we have uh, Yuki and also Mary Beth and you can certainly see that there are some members of the organization who sort of like don't like the idea of uh, this character using a prototype, which he is actually responsible in creation, um, at the beginning, which I thought was really interesting. I've seen some people already give this story like some nines out of ten, but in my case, I'm giving it a seven point five out of ten because of the way this story leaves on a bit of a cliffhanger, and I won't say what that cliffhanger is. So, for myself, the story is a 7.5 out of 10. Until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.